So the first part of preparing one of these eight by four, two inch thick sheets of insulation is cutting off this little lip because they're tongue and groove, but we don't actually need them to fit together in that way for these small spaces. They're only about two feet, yeah, two feet wide. Well, a little bit less than that. 23 inches and three quarters is what it is. So Tim is just taking this lip off the tongue with a bread knife. <laughs> so we bought the bread knife originally for cutting the rock cell insulation, which is actually the recommended utensil for preparing rock cell because it's a mineral wool and utility knives don't work too well with it. But we ended up switching gears and putting rigid board into the, the stud bays and trailer, so turned out the bread knife works pretty good for these small little strips. The next part is to trim off the end. Trimming it to length. Yep, trimming it to length. Since the width of our piece of insulation we need are 91 inches. So Tim is using a speed square to score a line all the way down the width of this piece of insulation. So you can see he's got it around five inches there and he's just Pulling that along the edge to make a nice straight clean line. Speed squares are great. Alright. Now we found the best method for cutting this stuff is actually just using a utility knife and snapping it along the line that you cut. So let's just see the blade. It's a pretty long blade that we have on there in order to cut through the full... Well, it doesn't cut quite through the full width because the blade's at an angle. Not as much as possible. But yes, as much as possible. So Tim will just drag that along, trying to keep it nice and straight without tipping it to the left or right. Because you don't want an angle cut one or a straight cut. So each of these sheets is R10 and we're stacking two pieces in each bay for a total of four inches or R20 in our floor. Alright, so that's scored. Now hang on, I'm going to use my other hand. Okay. So, ready? Yep. And that's it. So we've got a little waste pile going on over there and over there. And it gives you a really nice, smooth, clean line, surprisingly. I was really skeptical at first, but this works really well. Next we're going to cut this piece of insulation, well we're going to rip it lengthwise. Since it's four feet wide, uh, we can get two pieces out of each one to fill two stub bays. So Tim just got his measuring tape there and he's just making a little dash at both ends at 23 inches and 3 quarters. And then we're going to use a chalk line to snap the line from end to end. I like these. Okay. You good? Yep. Perfect. Now I've got to hold this tight while Tim rolls it up. And now it's basically the same process as we did when we cut it to size. Just gonna run that big blade on the utility knife down that blue chalk line. Right. 
Now I'll go the other end. And we can snap this thing. Ready? Yep. Where's the, okay, here's the line. Okay. All right. So that'll be a piece to go in one sub bay, and this will be one for another. The last step here is to notch out a quarter inch thick and one and a half inch wide piece of this insulation along this edge here because inside the C channel, the, the piece of insulation has to fit in under this edge, and this metal is quarter inch thick. So if we didn't notch it out, it wouldn't be able to be flush with the top of this. We didn't realize this at the very beginning, so the first two pieces aren't notched out, but the rest of them are. So the first the first layer has the notch out on the bottom, the bottom side of this, and the top part will have it facing the opposite direction. So Tim's going to use his speed square again. You're going to hold on to it. Yeah. At one and a half, oh no, one inch, because we've already got a half inch there from the so-called tongue groove. Okay, now he's just going to make that line a little bit deeper. When you're using the speed square, the score line, it's just the very tip of the blade that actually goes in. So you need to go over it a second time in order for it to make the line actually effective. And usually Tim and I do this part simultaneously, what he's doing now, what I'm about to do. But for the sake of the video, we're doing it separately. Okay. I'm going to knock out the piece with the So now we're going to put this prepared piece of rigid board insulation into its spot on the trailer. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tough to do this. I'll just show it before we I put it down. So you can see the notch is going to slip right in under this ledge. This is just kind of, oh there we go, yeah, it's not so bad actually. So what we've been doing for the top layer is we've been going along with a block of wood and a rubber mallet and banging this top piece into place so that it's nice and snug under here and we have the kind of gaps. So you know, Tim, if you want to go ahead. It's not really, no. Sometimes you have to take it back out and it's like skim a bit the edge. It's gotten pretty tight in there. So now all that's left is to push down this left hand side into place. So we're just going to pop this down into place now. You wanna, yeah, you can see it from a good angle here. There. Nice and tight. Perfect. Good.